controversy over Governor Rick Scott's emails and whether he and his staff used private accounts ramped up today. The governor did not take part in a scheduled deposition. News Channel 8's Lauren Make is joining us from the Tampa News Center to uh, explain what this is all about. Is this all politics, you think, Lauren? What's going on here? Uh, it is partly. Keith, good evening to you. In Florida, if a government official sends an email about state business, you are allowed to see it. But it could be harder to get access to it if it is from a private account. And that is why this controversy is a big deal. However, as you mentioned, it is 11 days before Election Day. In Tallahassee, there was an empty chair. The deposition didn't happen. I don't believe the opponent's going to show today, despite the fact that his deposition's been properly noticed pursuant to California law. The man this attorney wanted to talk to is Governor Rick Scott. It's all part of the controversy over emails and whether the governor and his staff have used personal accounts for private business. So I can understand his reticence to appear, but on the other hand, he is the governor and he did pick this fight with me, unfortunately, for all of us. The deposition was actually scheduled in connection with a lawsuit filed by Scott trying to block information from being released. On the campaign trail in Tampa, the governor addressed it. Don't, I don't use personal email for state business. This is just a lawyer that has a history of suing the state, just causing problems. It's part of Charlie Chris dirty tricks. 11 days before election day, it's hard to separate politics. How can Rick Scott ask Floridians for a second term when he can't even be honest about how he conducts state business? Pasco tax collector and former legislator Mike Fasano is a supporter of Scott's opponent, Charlie Crist. Now he's calling for an investigation. Whether a crime was committed here or not, I don't know. But the bottom line is what has been committed uh, is, is not following true to the sunshine laws and to our openness here in the state of Florida. Now, there is no question the Christ campaign and Democrats are pushing this, but it does involve an issue of state business. And, you know, another unusual thing here, news cameras are not usually allowed in depositions. Keith? Well, Lauren, I'm wondering if there could be any consequences here really for the governor not showing up. What do you think? Well, I checked with an attorney on this, and this is a civil case, but technically the court could hold him in contempt. No word on that yet, though. All right, Lauren, make reporting live for us tonight. Thanks.